Thank you for stopping by my channel. Uh, my name is Matt Up, and today in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about timings on Hoarding Escape, um, the amount of XP you can get, um, your re up general XP, um, plus doing the daily glitch. We'll be talking about, you know, like what maps we've been what map we've been playing on, how many games does it take. You know, I'll kind of show you all that. Um, I won't actually do the whole like process of showing you. I'll kind of like show you like a brief. It's a lot, it's a lot easier now compared to my last video showing you how to do the uh, horde glitch now. So, I mean, if you do it right, you and everyone in the party that's playing with your other four teammates should get like, you know, the daily challenge completed. Uh, the, they should all get the character XP, you know, plus general XP. If they do everything like I'll show you in this video, and I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna do any editing, so I'll just try to break it off in sections in my YouTube, so you don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't need to. But to get started, oh by the way, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I do stream on Twitch, so any support helps, and I'll keep making more. So, anyways, first thing is timings on for Horde. So let's say you have a host player and you have player two. And right now player two is gonna be the master player. The host would be on beginner. So for player two, it doesn't really matter what map they select. The only thing that matters for them is making sure the mutators are on master. And then what's going to happen then is the host is going to send player two an invite. So when player two is ready, uh, you're pretty much you're going to start your your countdown here let me get rid of my header so you guys can see this because I know it's blocking there we go so you're starting your countdown and pretty much what you want to do is once it gets to five seconds so by the time it's starting the countdown I'm already down here and I have my invite window ready so when it's five seconds, I'm gonna accept the host's invite. Once you do that, let host know, hey, invite accepted. So they're going to, on their end, for them, this is what it's gonna look like, let's say, they're gonna be starting on beginner because you gotta remember the host is one that's causing it to be on beginner and then the player two is making it like push, pushed on master. We don't, don't really know exactly how that all works. We've we've done a lot of testing. So once they once player two lets host know, hey, I accept your invite. They're gonna start their countdown now, and then what's gonna happen is they're going to dashboard quit their game five seconds, and then by that by this whole process, when player two is getting into uh, the host's lobby, and then you know the host is rebooting their game. Player two should already sent out an invite so host can come back into the game. And then what's going to happen is uh, player two will be sitting in the lobby, you know, it'll show the map and everything. And they'll, uh, it, it kind of gives you that timing gap. So it takes like 30 seconds. So host is still trying to boot up the game, you know, processing the invite. So then by that time, like once host comes back in, you know, they'll have a timer that says 30 seconds. And they should be able to, you should be able to change, like if you're originally coming back in as the host, should be able to change to any map and then set the difficulty multiplier back to master. Now, remember host originally started as beginner and now they're coming back in and they're changing to the master. This allows you to get the full benefit of playing a master game but you're only actually playing on beginner. And how we do the daily glitch. So remember, you originally started on Blood Drive. Blood Drive is the map you want to play on. You can literally change it to your daily challenge and load in. So when your other players come in, it's going to show them whatever daily challenge could be, you know, exhibit whatever. It's going to say they're playing on exhibit master, but they're not. They're playing it actually on Blood Drive beginner, but they're still getting the master credit. I'm hoping that's not sounding too confusing. So that's all it is. And if, if it's not working, 
then you guys either need to start like a little bit earlier so maybe at four seconds maybe three seconds it's all about the timing and you'll know when it works i can't really um explain that much easier um i mean it's all about you know i can offer if you guys ever want to hop in a game you know do it it'll just take time and then like once you get it down it's really easy just remember five seconds five seconds player two is going to accept invite at five seconds host is going to quit out at five seconds so remember five and five now for um escape um that one was pretty much you're both going to i'm trying to remember what toby said for this one by the way both cr the credit for this goes to uh mr maggots and lunchbox toby which maggots gave toby a hint um a while ago about this when we first came out the video and then me and toby you know going based on a little information we stayed up for like hours and hours on end trying to figure it out and you know then toby figured out you know the five second technique but for escape it's pretty much gonna be the same way as horde but the only difference is you guys are going to send um you guys are both going to start your game at the same time so when the master player you know player two is accepting the host's invite uh the host is going to quit so you're, you're doing this literally at the same exact timing and again it's gonna it's gonna all come down to timing but if you do it right it's going to give the host you know a 30 second window gap whatever to where then they can load in and you'll like i said you'll you should be able to know like when you load back in as host you can change your difficulty multipliers whatever you can set it whatever map you want um all right so now on to class uh class xp being received so the whole reason for doing this is because the amount of xp you're getting so you are getting if you actually legitimately played board game 1 through 50 on master you are getting with boost so you got to remember you're getting double xp already we're not concerned with boost you're getting two times xp already but with boost it makes it four times so you're getting 31 originally 31,000 from normal uh, XP and then plus with the boost makes it 62,000. So you're getting 62,000 character XP uh, per game. And then on. So let me, let me, here, let me show you this. Break it down so you can see it a little bit easier. So I have it broke down like right here exactly. So from character one, one through 20, pretty much, you need. 384,000 XP, which is about roughly, you know, around six games. You'll have to play like a frenzy or whatever. And then over here, I even broke it down more. So your first game will put you around level 14. Uh, your second game will put you at 16. Your third game will put you at 17. Fourth, you know, 17 to 18. Uh, fifth will be 18 to 19. And game six, once you're done, this is how much you should typically have left over. That's not including if you're not doing like uh, when I did the daily challenge, I was awarded 2,500 um, additional character XP. So that's easily, you can easily knock that out in a Horde Frenzy game. Master, done, easy. And Blood Drive is so, is so easy. Uh, I'm sure I think it's Overload is another easy map. Uh, I'll go back to my what I've seen here. All right, so now for the general XP per game. A lot of people probably don't know about this, um, but you are awarded so much XP for playing the game. Now it's based on time, and we found out it's based on ribbons as well. So what we found out <clears throat> is on Blood Drive, let me actually look up the Blood Drive game. Let's start it real quick. So on Blood Drive, 
there's a certain little spot and if um there's i'm sure there's other videos on it i can make one but once you know we do our building and everything there's a spot that we sit back with the salvo and we shoot into the uh the rooms on each side of the spawn and we are getting what's called a hell mary which you can get it with the salvo or you can get it with a, a boom shot you gotta shoot so many feet get a kill and you'll get the hell mary uh ribbon if you get 30 ribbons in a game you should be hitting you know anywhere from 30 35k plus for general xp because it'll be like a 300 boost so this is pretty much like the room that you're shooting into so like if i was on this side i'd be sitting all the way back on this wall with the salvo or it could be a boom shot and as soon as all the enemies spawn with their setup i'm just shooting in there and getting the hell mary and you just need 30 now say like you don't get 30 you get like 29 and once it comes to like the ending results for all your xp and everything you'll actually see a huge difference because it'll be like um i'm trying to remember what one of the guys had one time i think they lost out like 17 or 15 thousand xp now remember that's a lot for like new people that are just playing the game or whatever but to other people that are like high re-ups already uh that's not a lot but i mean that's something efficient for them to do while they're trying to level up their characters um let's see what else am i uh, supposed to cover on this i think that is actually it hopefully i didn't forget anything i talked about the timings um we did the character xp we did the general xp i did do the daily glitch so yeah so just remember like if you're trying to do the daily glitch i'll make sure i cover it one more time just to make sure i didn't forget it pretty sure i covered it this is gonna be a long video without editing got 144 xp for not doing anything so just remember host when you're coming in When you when you first start your game host, you have to make sure you set it to whatever map you want to play on. Blood drive, I'm telling you, just do blood drive. Just trust us. We've done it several times. We're doing it like right now. Um But remember when you come back in, when you're reloading into the game, remember to change it to the daily. Whatever. Because then like say if you're bringing in new players, they're gonna get that daily credit, even though you're not playing on the map. And then you change your mutators. Same thing works for escape. Just remember, it's all about timings. If you don't remember the timings, go back to the part of the YouTube video and watch the timings part. Um, other than that, I don't have really much else to say for this video, but remember to like, subscribe, comment, and do stream pretty much almost every day on Twitch. Appreciate you guys.